A very good day to you and welcome to the program. I want to speak to you on the subject of giving. It's more blessed to give than to receive. Now, if we look at Galatians chapter 2 and verse 20, Paul says, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I, remember I, that big I, it is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. That's the ultimate of what every Christian should be doing. We have got to decrease so that he can increase. Who was the greatest example in the world? It was John the Baptist. He said, I must decrease so that he can increase. He said, I'm not even worthy to unlatch his sandal straps. And Jesus said, there has never been a man born from the womb of a woman who is greater than John the Baptist. So, you know, we've spoken before about the upside down gospel. Eh? <laughs> the old baobab tree in the winter. The Khoisan people say that that's the upside down tree because it looks like all the roots are sticking in the air. Well, that's how it is with Christianity. In the world, it's a case of take what you can get. Give me, give me, give me. Make sure that you've got enough. Jesus says, give and you shall receive. And I think Mother Teresa is a very good example of someone that gave everything she had for the sake of the poor. She would take people out of the gutters in Calcutta and wash them and clean them and put them in, a, in between two clean sheets and let them die with dignity. That's all she did. And do you know anybody more famous than Mother Teresa? Exactly. The Lord says in Matthew chapter 5, verse 8, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. We've got to walk the talk. We've got to live the life. I want to read that uh, very famous poem that's attributed to Francis of Assisi. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Don't we need that in the world today? Absolutely. Where there is hatred, let me love. Where there is offense, let me bring pardon. Where there is discord, let me bring union, togetherness. Where there is error, let me bring the truth. It's the truth that sets us free. Where there is doubt, let me bring faith. Where there is despair, let me bring hope. Where there is darkness, let me bring your light. Where there is sadness, let me bring joy. Oh, Master! Let me not seek as much to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive. There we go. It is in self-forgetting that one finds. It is in pardoning that one is pardoned. It is in dying that one is raised to eternal life. We really need to prefer one another. That is the secret in this time in which we are living, which is full of fear, full of um, despair, of anxiety, of stress. Everywhere we go, I went to the shops the other day. I don't often go to the shops. And I sensed a spirit of heaviness. There was no music in that shopping mall. No one was talking to each other. Everybody was walking around with masks on. It looked like death itself. We really need to forget about ourselves and start to live for others. And then we will find the meaning of life eternal. Goodbye.